All righty. Well, hello, scholars. It is Tuesday, and it is time for another read aloud. And our story today is also called Tuesday. Again, our story is called Tuesday. And this week, we are going to be looking at books that don't have a lot of words. This story has a little bit of words, but most of the pages are wordless. So we really need to focus in on the pictures and what the pictures are telling us. Our author is, sorry, our author and illustrator is David Wisner, and we're going to be looking and paying close attention to the pictures. So again, the story is called Tuesday, which is the day of the week that comes after Monday. And if we look at the cover, I'm seeing these little green things and something that looks like it's sitting on it. I see a hand over here that looks like a hand, and then another green thing that kind of looks like a lily pad. And then this house right down here and this big ginormous clock that looks like it's in a town or a city. So we really wanna pay attention to what the story is telling us through the pictures. There's not a lot of words, so we really need to pay attention to the pictures. Let's get started with our story called Tuesday. Tuesday evening around eight. Hmm. So we know that it's around eight and we know that it is Tuesday. So looking at the pictures, it looks like some type of waters over here, maybe a swamp, maybe a lake, I don't know. But I see this turtle sitting on a log and it looks like he's looking around. What's gonna happen next? And here we go. There are some frogs that look like they're flying or sitting on these lily pads. And when I look back at the cover, that's what that was. That was a frog's hand on a lily pad. So I want you to be thinking about what is happening at the beginning of our story. And we know that at the beginning of our story, all these frogs on a Tuesday are flying around on lily pads. That's the beginning of our story. Let's look here. So it looks like they're still flying. It looks like some of them are smiling. It looks like he's having a great time. He's flipping upside down. This one right here is too. Looks like they're scaring some of the birds that are out at night. And also pay attention to how you know it's nighttime. You see that all around it's dark. You see the stars and you see the full moon. That's telling you it's nighttime. Hmm. It looks like these frogs are flying and they look like they're flying past a bunch of homes. I wonder what's gonna happen next. What do you think is gonna happen next? They're flying past all of these homes. Ooh, we see a time, 11.21 p.m. That means that it's really, really, really late. So I see this man, he's got some milk and a sandwich. And he's looking out the window. And he has this kind of weird expression on his face. So what do you think he looks like that for? Why is he making that weird face like, huh? What's going on? Well, I can tell that he's looking out the window and he's seeing these frogs flying around on lily pads. We see in the window behind him, they're doing that and to the side. And even this one right here is saying hello. So it's pretty weird. I bet you'd be pretty scared if you saw a bunch of frogs flying around on leap pads, lily pads at nighttime. Be very scary. And it looks like we ran into some trouble. Some of these frogs have accidentally flown into the laundry that was um, hanging to get dry. And now they're covered in blankets and towels. Although not all of them. And it looks like these frogs right here are using them as capes. Hmm, it looks like there is a window open in one of the homes and some of the frogs have gone in. Look, one's coming into the chimney like Santa Claus. So what do you think about these frogs and what they're doing? Do you think it's right that they're flying around at night? Do you think it's right that they're going into people's homes? knocking into laundry. 
What do you think about what these frogs are doing? I wonder what's gonna happen next when they go into these homes. Hmm, it looks like these frogs are sitting with this old lady with the TV on. She's asleep. It looks like they're watching some program and this guy's got the remote. Hmm, you see another timestamp. 4.38 a.m. So now it's the morning time, but it's still not, the sun has not risen just yet. So it's still dark outside. And look what's happening here. This guy's flying, but all of a sudden he runs into a dog. And now he is moving in the other direction. He does not want to see that dog. Hmm, and look right here. Looks like all his frog friends came together and now they're chasing the dog. The dog looks like he's pretty scared. So what do you think the frogs are gonna do next? Try to guess in your mind, what do you think these frogs are about to do next? They've been flying around, they've been knocking into laundry, they've gone past people's homes or gone into people's homes and now they're chasing the dog. What do you think they're gonna be up to next? Let's see. Hmm. As you look around, what are you noticing? Well, I notice that their lily pads are starting to fall down. And if they're falling down, that means the frogs cannot fly around anymore. It looks like they're having some trouble. They can't fly like they were doing earlier. So look around at the picture. What time of day is it now? And how do you know? Look at the picture. What time of day is it now? So if you look very carefully, you can see the sky is blue and see the clouds out and you know that it is the daytime. So even though you cannot see the sun, you see that it's more light outside and you see the light being reflected around the, the grass. And now all of a sudden, now that it's the daytime or the morning time, these frogs cannot fly anymore. The lily pads are gone and they cannot fly anymore. And it looks like this guy over here is not happy about that. He wants to go back on his adventure. He wants to go back. And as you see right here, I see the police, I see what looks like a detective and an ambulance and people even talking to uh, the news. And I see all these lily pads all around. So I guess that's what was left behind. And they're trying to figure out what happened. Next Tuesday, 7.58 PM. Hmm. So let's look carefully at the picture. What is happening now? What do you see in the picture? What do you notice? I see something here right at the top. What animal do you think that is? Now I know this is not a frog. What animal do you think that is? And what do you think is gonna happen next? And look at what's happening. It's a bunch of pigs flying, but they do not need a lily pad or anything underneath them. So they're just flying around at nighttime on a Tuesday. And that is the end of our story. So just take a moment to think about our story Tuesday. Our story Tuesday did not have a lot of words. So you really had to pay attention to all of the pictures and what the story was telling you. Think about what was happening at the beginning of the story, in the middle of the story and towards the end. What were the frogs doing? What time of day was it? How were they able to fly? And how did their adventure end? Think about all those things as you think about the story. Alrighty, I really hope you enjoyed the story. Keep up the good work for today and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.